I met Eric about eight years ago online. We immediately hit it off. Everything seemed to just come together. Everything was seamless. I think our first phone conversation lasted about nine hours. I fell in love with her over the phone. He told me he went to Stanford University. He, he played for the 49ers. He was a businessman. He had some real estate properties. I was completely amazed by all of the things that he had done. That was a happy time. Things were good. Things were new. Things were fresh. She was a very genuine person, very kind-hearted. She's definitely one of those people that can make lemonade out of lemons. Eric also told me that he was very wealthy and that his wife was tragically killed in a car accident and he was raising his two boys. I had extreme empathy for him. Eric explained to me that he was temporarily living with his brother in a dorm in Texas. He also said that his children were with a nanny in California. We were always on the phone, we were always online chatting. When I first met him online, he had lost his wallet. So I would order food for him and have it sent to his house. Since his wallet had been stolen and because he was extremely wealthy, all of his funds had been frozen. The two of us had been talking close to two months and I wanted to meet him in person. I bought him a one-way ticket so that he could come and visit me. He came to my home for a five to seven day visit, but he never left. Really? After Eric moved in, Tiffany says their relationship quickly intensified. But then she claims things began to take a dark turn. Eric is a complete con man. He's a fraud. He promised to buy me a car. He never did. He promised to pay the rent and he wrote checks from a closed account. They would bounce. At one point, he even put an offer on a home. It was breathtaking. It was a dream home. I mean, when I say dream, I mean dream. <laughs> It was gorgeous. I fell in love with that house. And he said that he closed on it. He told me that the house was ours. We were planning to move in, only we never moved in. It was just one big lie. What I realized was Eric was just a total fraud. He lied to me about everything. I felt like it was a scene out of the TV show Dirty John. After we had been together for about a year, I found out that I was pregnant. I was not happy. I was ready to get out of the relationship. The problem was I just couldn't bring myself to leave him. He had control over everything. All Eric was was a stack of lies and empty promises. Okay, Hi. Now, good to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, thank you for having me. I'm really Dr. Phil. <laughs> okay, Yes, sir. this is me. What, what attracted you to him to begin with? Eric is the master charmer. He was extremely flattering. He was very, very intelligent. He was well-versed on just about anything. The businesses that you heard in my, my story, the restaurants, the real estate, he knew about stocks. So of course, I'm thinking to myself, I can learn from this man. But in addition to that, he had a great sense of humor. He, like he said, we were on the phone. I wouldn't say it was nine hours for our first conversation but we were on the phone all the time. If we weren't online, we were talking and there was just this chemistry. I mean, he was just warm, but I think the thing that got me most was the children. He said that his wife was tragically killed, so immediately I felt empathy for him. He said that he was raising two boys on his own and I'm thinking, wow, single man, father, two kids so at home without a mother. he had everything except a box of puppies. Pretty much, 